What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you guys, in this video, I'm gonna simply break it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be transparent. I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna give you my strategy. I'm gonna show you exactly how I get appointments, how I get pe people, you know, on the phone to, not even on the phone on Zoom, um, but I'm gonna show you how I schedule appointments and how I get canceled appointments to reschedule. Okay, so. This is where, where, where it all begins, you guys. And if you've been following me on my channel, um, and even if you haven't, man, subscribe. Subscribe if social media marketing is your thing. Subscribe if freelancing and, and, and getting clients is your thing. Subscribe if you're building anything online. If you're building anything online, what I talk about a lot on this channel is driving traffic to your online thing, whatever the hell that is, right? Driving traffic through a Facebook ad or something, you know, paid traffic. And then once we run that ad, where do they go? Landing page, email automation. That's what I talk about. And, and, and so if you've been following me for a while, I've been talking about Kartra since 2018. I literally run my entire online business out of this one single software. So a lot of you, a lot of you guys that are using multiple softwares to try to build something online, I'm telling you, you have to take a look at Kartra. Um, in the description, there's a 14-day trial. In this case, I want you to click on the link and take a look at the calendar because that's what we're going to be talking about. How I get canceled appointments to reschedule. Here's how I do it. And I'm going to give you some context. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to show you where this is all coming from, okay? If it's not YouTube, right? If it's not a lot of my amazing friends, I'm meeting so many amazing people on YouTube. I'm, I'm shout out to my buddy, my buddy Steven. Like I'm becoming best friends with people, you know, that, that are finding me on YouTube. But if it's not YouTube where I'm meeting people, scheduling appointments and, and, and doing business with, then it's on most likely Facebook where I'm doing a lot of my prospecting because Facebook is kind of where it all started. So as I started my social media agency back in 2016 and started helping business owners and clients with all of this stuff, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. I started in the industry and the niche of real estate. And the reason why is because I came from that industry. Like I came from it. I came from banking. I came from being a loan originator. I was in the mortgage business for six years prior to consulting real estate agents. So I just knew I had a background. I knew I can talk the lingo. I knew that I, 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 I knew their industry. I knew, I knew, I knew what they sucked at, right. When it comes to marketing and social media marketing. So I knew that there was a void. I knew that I can help that industry. So that's where it all started in 2016. And in 2016, I didn't start running Facebook ads to find these clients. I started direct messaging on Facebook. And I got so damn good at it. If you watch any of my previous videos, I have videos of me showing you my back end of Stripe and showing you hundreds of clients later, right? I brought aboard literally hundreds of clients who I've direct messaged alone through Facebook, right? So thank God for Facebook. Um, Facebook has allowed me to feed my family over the, over the next few years. And, and I, I take that pretty damn seriously, right? So it was where I started and, 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 it, and, and I got so damn good at it where I still do it today. I still message on Facebook today. I'll get people to schedule appoint, appointments with me on Facebook today. So I'm either scheduling appointments through Facebook or I'm meeting amazing people on YouTube and they're reaching out to me and, and, and I'm getting people on appointments that way. But when it comes to Facebook, it's really me prospecting. It's really me reaching out to them and, and seeing if there's a need, right? And then going for that, that appointment. Now, what I do not do is I don't schedule phone calls, right? So I, wouldn't, I don't reach out to somebody and say, hey, what's your phone number? You know, I'll call you tomorrow. No, it's not a phone number. I use Zoom for everything. And I've been on the free account with zoom since 2016 so you guys don't need the paid account the paid account is only if you if you're on zoom with three or more people okay if you're on with three or more people and you're going to be on for more than 45 minutes at a time that's when you'll need the paid version but i do one-on-one -on -one, right i'm scheduling an appointment with one person one individual and it's that person that i'm online with so the free plan is all you need i use zoom for all of those appointments. So hundreds of clients later, every single one of them came aboard because I was able to use Zoom and, and, and visually share my screen and walk them through what I was able to help them with, right? Um, now, here's, here, 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 here's what I'm saying though, here's where it starts. 
it starts on Facebook. Now, again, the title of this video is how I get canceled appointments to reschedule. I'm going to literally, literally take you into my DM and I'm going to show you a real live example of what happened a few hours ago. And that's what inspired me to drop this video for you because I'm giving you day in the life, man. So if you're, if you're into that type of stuff, day in the life of how I'm building my agency, how I'm reaching out to clients, how I'm scheduling appointments, how I'm freaking running Facebook ads, how I'm driving traffic to a landing page, how I'm setting up email automation, you're going to want to subscribe, right? Because I'm dropping daily videos every day at 8 a.m. Pacific time on all this stuff. Okay. So subscribe if you haven't already, but here's the deal. I'm going to take you in and I'm going to show you what really happened a few hours ago with a scheduled appointment that I had that eventually I ended up canceling, but then they rescheduled and the whole magic, the whole magic is that it was all automated. Okay. If you're, if you're like me, you don't want to lift a finger. I don't want to do nothing. I want to automate the entire process from the moment they're, they're coming into my life, coming into my funnel, right? To the moment they're receiving emails, to the moment they're, they're scheduling appointments, to the moment they're rescheduling. I want all that to be automated. I don't want to physically have to do much at all, right? Now, 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 now the setup of it all, that's physical effort on my part. I got to set it all up. But, but after that, you should be able to automate this, man. And that's the beauty of the internet. You want to try to automate as much of this stuff as possible. Um, when it comes to the basics, right? When it comes to the basics, um, and here's what it is. So, so let's get straight into it. Here's where, where it all started. It all starts on my, on my personal page, right? That's where I'm connecting with a lot of people. That's where I'm really trying to bring a lot of value to, to friends that I'm connected with over here. Um, and this is where I'll direct message. So I'm direct messaging straight from the, face, from the personal Facebook page, and I'm getting appointments that way. Now, here's what happened, okay? So let's go into the DM. Let me pull up this particular person right here, okay? So here's what happened. Yesterday, yesterday um, I went for the appointment, right? So we went back and forth a few messages, and then she put, what's your number? Because I asked her, I said, let me know if, if you have a few minutes tomorrow, and we can schedule a quick call. I can share my screen and walk you through it. All I ask for is a good review on my business page. That's how I get appointments, you guys, because these potential clients, my prospects, people I want to bring value to, I literally charge them up front a good review. Like I tell them, I say, hey, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what your pages are missing. I'll teach you all this stuff in a, in a quick 45-minute, 60-minute call. But all I'm going to ask for is a good review on my business page. And that's how I got so many reviews on my page today, you guys. So shout out to every single one of you. Um, but that's how I end up getting them. And then, and then they're like, damn, okay. They're probably thinking to, them, to themselves, shit. Okay. If, if he's going to teach me all this stuff, that's what he does. I look at his page. He looks legit. Cool. I'll take the appointment. She asked me for my number. I never give my number, nor that, nor it's, it's not that I don't want to. It's just, that's not, that's not the strategy. The strategy is to get you on zoom. So I don't, I don't need your number. You don't need my number. I ask for their email. I say, Hey, what's, what's your email and what is your best time tomorrow? And so what I do, okay, some, some, some of my friends that I've now done business with on YouTube, when you reply or when you comment on any of my YouTube videos and you want to jump on a call, normally I'll ask for your email, right? Right there in the comment section. Hey, what's your email? I'll send you my calendar because that's a different type of prospect. That's a different type of person. That's someone that's finding me on YouTube and they're seeking me out. They're coming to me, right? So now it's a, it's, a, it's a completely different approach, whereas I'm not the one going after them, right? They're going after me. So in that case, what I do is I normally just email them my calendar. I'll take this link and I'll just email it to them. They'll drop me their email in the comments and I'll email them my link. Hey, John, great to connect with you, man. Thank you for your comment on YouTube. Here's a link to my calendar. Go ahead and schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. That's someone like on YouTube, right? But again, my daytime hustle my daytime business is bringing, is, is bringing clients aboard for my agency, doing social media services for them, doing Facebook ads for them, and bringing them on, right? That's the actual strategy. And so I'm going after them, right? So with that being said, that's not the type of person that I would just simply email my calendar. Okay, Rowena, send me your email. I'll email you my calendar and schedule your best time. It's like, hell no, dude. That person, they're not going to do that, like, at all. Again, someone on YouTube that's coming after me, 
they're likely to do that and they do it every day. Shout out to all my homies, Steven, freaking everyone. Shout out to everyone. But that's YouTube. That's a different type of approach. Over here, I'm going after them. So what I do is I ask for, <clears throat> so what I wrote on the next one, send me your email and best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. And that's what happens. They'll send me their email and best time. Okay, so here's what 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 here here's how the process works. Inside of Kartra, I come in here, I'll schedule that time, right? I'll choose that time slot, whatever they told me, and then I'll I'll go on and I'll schedule, I'll schedule that. Now, what they receive right away, let's go to my calendars. What they receive right away is a confirmation, right? They receive a confirmation. Um, in the confirmation, I'll show it to you right now. It's just basic information, but most importantly, it's a link to my Zoom, okay? So again, I'm not going off a phone number. It's not going to be a phone call. It is going to be a Zoom call, okay? And that's what I tell them in the actual email. So over here, I'm able to set up my hours. This is all the Kartra calendar. So you'll, there's a link in the description. Click on Kartra calendars, and it'll give you a quick demo of what this is, and then you can always set up a 14-day trial. I highly encourage you, man. If you're building anything online, if you're a real estate agent or a freaking yoga studio or you're building health and wellness products, if the internet is something you're looking to jump into, or if you're trying to run Facebook ads and you're trying to gather leads and, and, and all this other stuff online, you need, you need to look at, at Kartra, man. But, but I want you to look at the calendar. If you're the type of business that, that shoots for appointments, look into Kartra, okay? So in here, I'm able to change my hours, my days, availability, all that stuff, right? But it's in this next section over here where the booking confirmation, that goes out right away. So the moment they schedule an appointment or the moment I'm scheduling it for them, this email goes out right away. And I can change the subject line, I can change the text, which is what I did, and I can customize all this to my liking. This is the actual email that goes out right away. Thank you for your time, John. Here's a quick summary of our upcoming call. And then just a few event hosted by schedule time, few bullet points. And then this actually comes the schedule time. It actually comes in military time. And then, and then all I do is I drop a link for a military webpage, which just has a simple clock and, and that's it. And they can convert it. And then right here, click here at scheduled time. All I do is I hyperlink this with my Zoom link. They click there, my password, my meeting ID, and then I tell them I use Zoom so I can share my screen and show you how I help real estate agents and online entrepreneurs grow their social media brands and run Facebook ads. And then a simple image, and that is the confirmation email. Okay, so it starts there. That email goes out. One hour later, and I can change the time whenever I want, but I have it for one hour before, or not one hour later. The, the, the reminder, I have it to go out one hour before. So one hour before the actual appointment, this reminder will go out. And again, I can customize this. I can change the words. I can write whatever the heck I want. But this is what I have. Hi, John. Hope all is well. We go live in one hour. I'm excited to speak to you. And then again, my Zoom link my meeting ID, my password, blah, 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 okay? And there goes an image right there, okay? So that's the reminder, okay? That is the email reminder. Now, here's what happens, okay? The confirmation went out one hour before our appointment. That automatically goes out. And then what I normally do, okay? What I normally do is I'll message them. Our appointment was for nine o'clock. I normally message them 10, 10 minutes before. So they got their email reminder an hour before, and then I'll shoot them a DM 10 minutes before our appointment just to let them know, hey, I'm about to jump on. I did it at the time of our appointment, logging on. So that message goes out right then and there, either on the hour or 10 minutes before. I recommend 10 minutes before. Shoot them a, shoot them a, a, a message on, on, on social media because you're not going to have their phone number, right? You're not going to be able to shoot them a text. So shoot them a message on DM and just say, hey, man, I'm logging on. Do it 10 minutes prior. That's what I normally do. But again, this one, I did it right on the hour. And then she didn't message me back until 931. So I only wait 10 minutes for that appointment to show up. I'm logged in on Zoom. I'm ready for them to click my link. I'm ready for them to join me, right? I'm ready to accept them and have them join my conference on, on Zoom, okay? Now, 
10 minutes goes by and she hasn't, she hasn't um, 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 jumped on. She hasn't jumped on, right? So what I normally do is I'll put, I'm on, and I, and I wrote that, let's see, I typed that three minutes later, okay? I'm on Zoom for 10 minutes. She didn't show up. I didn't get this message until 30 minutes later, right? 931. So 10 minutes later at 910, what I do is I come in here to my calendars and I'll come to agenda and I'll simply exit out. I will cancel the appointment, okay? Now here's where the magic happens. It's all about lead nurturing. It's all about nurturing that lead. It's all about automating all this. It's all about email automation, okay? That's what this is all about, man. Here's what happens when I cancel an appointment, okay? Now, here's another thing I want you to understand as well. Here's a little, here's, here's a little side note. I've been in sales forever, right? Forever and a day. I've been in sales since day one, right? In the very beginning of my sales career, I used to take it personal. I used to get pissed off. I used to want to cuss somebody out if they, if, if they canceled an appointment on me, especially if they didn't even give me a heads up, right? Because I'm over here waiting around and it's like, dude, you don't show up. Back in the day, it wasn't Zoom. Back in the day, it was either a phone call or back in the day, I'm freaking, back in the day, I'm, I'm meeting you at freaking Starbucks or I'm meeting you at some conference room back in the day, right? It's like, dude, I used to physically have the drive for appointments, depending on what I was selling, right? And if a person didn't show up, or if a person didn't call, or if a person didn't join me on the conference line, and there was no heads up, I used to get pissed off, right? In the very beginning, I used to get pissed off. Now, many times that person is probably just blowing you off, but sometimes there was a legitimate reason, a legitimate reason. And, and I, didn't, I didn't learn this till later, man. Later on in my career, as I get more mature, as I stop chasing people, you know, in that negative way, and as I just let the process flow, I wouldn't take it personal anymore. I wouldn't get pissed off and, 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 and I would just maybe, maybe shoot that person a message or, or, or see if everything is okay and, and give them the benefit of the doubt as if something really happened, especially now as I get older and now I'm talking to people who are business owners, shit happens. People are parents, kids, you know, it's like shit during at this time, 2020, since the making of this video, everybody's at home. It's like, dude, kids are freaking yelling in the background. Things come up and I get it, right? But what I'm talking about, what I get, what I, what I used to get pissed off, and it's still, it's still a pet peeve of mine. It still is a pet peeve of mine. Where I still do, it still does piss me off a little bit when they don't hit me up. When it's like, dude, and, and especially because I'm dealing with businesses. It's different if you're a business and you're going after consumers. You're getting appointments with homeowners, someone that works at the mall, and you are getting an appointment with them. The average consumer doesn't take the appointment that seriously, right? Especially when you're the one trying to sell them something, right? Things happen. A lot of appointments get canceled for whatever reason, and people just don't like to be sold. So therefore they cancel. They won't even tell you they cancel. They just don't even show up, blah, 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 right? But when you're dealing with business to business, which is what I'm dealing with, you got business to business, and then you got business to consumer, right? B to B, B to C. I'm dealing with business to business. These are other business owners that also schedule appointments with their clients. So these are people who actually know what it's like to schedule an appointment, know what it's like to hold an appointment, and know what it feels like when that appointment doesn't show up. So it's like, dude, now that I'm dealing with these types of people, I, 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 kind, of, I kind of take it personal where it's like, dude, you, you know what it's like to freaking wait for somebody. How do you not even message me? Like, how do you not even shoot me a quick message online? Like, you're just not going to show, right? Like, so thank God that doesn't happen often at all. Thank God. It doesn't happen at all, at all, at all. But again, all I'm saying is that it, when it does, don't take it personal because shit happens. You got to give people the benefit of the doubt, okay? So here's what happened. 10 minutes later, I end up coming over here and counseling the appointment, okay? She ends up a half an hour, a half an hour later at 9.30, 20 minutes later, she ended up typing me and, and messaging me something came up. And I'm like, okay, cool, no worries. Normally, I would, I would message that person back and say, okay, no worries. Let me know if tomorrow works. Normally, I would do that. But nowadays, I'm not really chasing people. I got so many freaking people to talk to, it's not even funny. So I'm not even chasing people at all, at all, at all. 
So this right here, this last message was pretty much a goodbye message. It was pretty much a goodbye message. I said, okay, stay in touch on YouTube. I release daily videos on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And then I just kind of threw in there rather than cold calling, learn Facebook ads. And it was only because I, I, you know, 20 minutes prior to this, she posted a picture of her office cold calling. And I'm like, holy shit, man, I'm going to help this person tremendously. But then she no shows me. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And that's what I, I, I put. I put rather than cold calling, learn Facebook ads. And I put LOL, you know, trying to be funny or whatever, but best wish, best wishes. And then I sent her a link to my YouTube channel. So when she clicks on that link, it takes them straight to my YouTube channel. Um, that right there is just a little hiccup, but then it flows through. I don't know why that came up, but it flows through and then boom, there is my YouTube channel and it takes them straight to my subscribe button. Okay. So that's my link to YouTube. That's what I left her with. So in the meantime, I had already canceled the appointment. Okay. Now when I cancel an appointment, here's where the magic is. Okay. Here's where the magic is. Over here in email, email notifications, I can customize the email that goes out to them regarding the cancellation. And it's this email right here. Hey, John, everything okay? So this email <clears throat> is what went out to her at that scheduled time or 10 minutes later. This is the email that went out. Hey, John, everything okay? I apologize we couldn't connect. I hope everything is okay. Things come up at the last minute and I totally understand. You can click here to reschedule. Stay in touch with me on YouTube. I release daily videos, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm trying to get them to reschedule here. And also, if they don't, maybe they'll subscribe to my channel. Because here's the reality. Those who never really took you serious from the beginning won't reschedule, right? Those who did and do take you seriously, but again, shit happens. And that's why I give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't know what's going on in her life. Something probably could have happened and she just missed the appointment and her phone could have died and she couldn't message me. I get it. Now, if a person were to keep telling me that shit, then of course, I'm not going to believe them, but... Again, for someone that I don't know, someone that I really want to help, um, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt one time. And this is the email that goes out. So again, it's all automated. I click the X, I cancel that appointment, and she gets this email right away. Okay. When she got that email, here is the email that came in to me. She ended up rescheduling. And it's this one, right? That's the 23rd. Today's the 23rd. It was actually this one down here. Shout out to everyone scheduling appointments with me. Right here. So she ended up rescheduling for tomorrow. So you guys, that right there, man, it happened automatically. I didn't have to chase her. I didn't have to keep messaging her. I simply provided a link in the email, in the, the cancellation email, Showing empathy, showing empathy, right? Hope everything is okay. I totally understand. You know, things come up at the last minute. I get it. You can click here to reschedule. And that's what she did, you guys. That's what she did. That new calendar booking came in and I'm like, hell yeah. When someone does that, you know for sure that person is interested. So when I get her on the line tomorrow, shot to Rowena, but I'm telling you, your boy's a closer. Your boy is a closer. When I bring her on, when I get on that call tomorrow, there's a 99.99999% chance that she's really interested in what I'm doing and she'll come aboard as a, as a paying client. Okay. So that's how I do it. You guys from beginning to end, that's how I get my appointment scheduled. I ask for email. I ask for the next day. I'm not asking for, Hey, let's talk next week. No dude. What's your email and best time tomorrow. That is the key. That is what I wrote over here. I said, I said, send me, I said, send me your email and best time tomorrow. That's the key word, tomorrow. Don't schedule appointments for days out. People aren't going to show. Don't schedule appointments for weeks out. People are for sure not going to show. Even if you send them a reminder, even if you have a, a confirmation going out, shit happens and things really do come up. And, 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 and when you're the one going after them and, and, and scheduling the appointment with them, you're the one that's taking it more seriously. And, and to them, you're just another person trying to schedule an appointment. So I need this fresh, I need a top of mind, I need to talk to you tomorrow, right? While you're still, you know, going with my flow in the messages, like, let's talk tomorrow, send me your email and best time tomorrow, right? And so 
that's what happened, you guys. I asked for the email. I asked for the best time. I ended up going to my calendar. I ended up scheduling that call. And then those, those confirmation emails go out. The email reminder goes out. I message them 10 minutes prior on Facebook. And then again, if they cancel, I'll shoot them this email with the ability to reschedule. And that's exactly what she did. So you guys, hopefully that helped. Again, I am using Kartra for all of this stuff, man, for my landing pages, for my email automation, for my membership course. If you're selling courses or coaching or services or consulting services, anything like that, and you're selling it, I'm doing all that through Kartra. My calendar, all that is through Kartra. So take a look at the calendar component alone. Like, Again, there's a 14-day trial, so try the damn thing out. Compare it to all these other random services that you're using to build an online business. I'm telling you, man, it is night and day. There is no comparison. Set up a 14-day trial, reach out to me, and I will literally give you all my time for free. I'll help you tear apart the entire cartridge system and help you get off to the fastest start possible. All right, guys, so that's how I get canceled appointments to reschedule. Step your game up, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.